webinar on discussing multiple security issues. So the first issue which so the first issue which we are going to discuss is uh, SQL injection. So yeah, SQL injection, we'll be talking about how to detect SQL injection using burp and how to automate this and so on. So basically SQL injection are categorized into multiple types. One is error-based, one is blind and, and so on. So here we'll talk about error-based SQL injections. And SQL injections are basically caused by an application not having input validation and in the server side and it accepts any SQL query as a proper input, right? So let me switch on my burp. So my burp is running. You are enter a character one or C2. So yeah, here we can see there's a post request which has been sent to the server on this endpoint XVWA SQLI and the parameters, two of them are being sent item and search. So to test for SQL injection and that to error based SQL injections, the first step in exploiting SQL injection is give a special character which the SQL uh, DB recognizes and see if you're getting an error or if the application is throwing a 200 or it's becoming unresponsive and so on. Basically, let, let's just inject a quote in end of the search parameter here and try to send it to the server. So here we can see there is a SQL error message. It says there is a error in the SQL syntax on MySQL server version and, and so on. So this is uh, basically a litmus test to understand if there is a SQL injection, if it is potentially can be exploited and so on. And here, after this, after this, we have determined that there is an SQL injection, we can give more queries like one or one equal to one, one and see what, how the server is responding. Or you can give something like this. And we have a error message and so on. So yeah, and instead of or, you can also give uh, and or union, with, with the syntax and see how the server is responding and the what is the error message you're getting. So this is a time consuming process. And if you are working on an engagement, which is which needs to be delivered on some particular day, you cannot expect the whole SQL injection to be done manually by yourself. That's why we have a, a tool called SQL map, which automatically detects and exploits SQL injection, which has multiple other functionalities also, like you can run a command, you can upload a shell, you can dump the database, you can create a user and, and multiple other things. So we are just going to showcase how you can use an SQL, uh, SQL map to detect and exploit SQL injection. So if it is a get request, so this is a post request, right? So if it's a get request, you just need to uh, right click, copy as a URL, uh, which is, yeah, copy URL. And you get the get uh, URL and the ID will be in the URL, which the SQL map will recognize and it will export. But this is little different because this is a post request and there is a body with a couple of parameters and there are multiple headers. So how do you run this into SQL map? So you just copy the whole data. You just copy the whole data into a text file, uh, save it in your desktop and run SQL map minus R equals dot text minus V. It'll be SQL one dot text, right? If I'm not. Yeah, basically this SQL one dot text is gonna start scanning the whole uh, database from scratch and it will take time. So we have already created a SQL post dot text, which has, you can see, which is the same, which is the uh, local host XVWA SQL injection with the parameters item one and such. 
Okay, so uh, just for uh, people, uh, some, some of you asked, oh, what is the application which we are using? So we're using uh, an application called XVWA. It's an open source uh, web application tool, which you can also download it in, in your laptop. In this case, uh, we use the Dockerized version, which was pretty easy for us to host it. And that has a lot of, uh, you know, um, exercises which you can do. So we are taking the uh, error-based SQL injection for this uh, for this demo. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, he can, we can see here that uh, SQL map minus R is the text file which we need to include and minus V is verbose. So basically, it created it. It sent a couple of parameters. So since it is in verbose mode, we can see what is the payload exactly here. So it sent a payload called item equal to one, and it made a SQL query, right? So I'm just highlighting that. It made a SQL query and it determined that the back, uh, the database which is used in the backend is actually my SQL. So not only you can determine the database, but you can also determine what are all the tables inside it or columns present. You can also, for example, check what is the host name. Uh, yeah, you just run SQL map with flag host name. So it is going to fetch the server's host name, which is this, uh, sorry, this, which is this. And here, since it is in verbose mode, we again can see what is the exact query which SQL maps sent so that we can try to reproduce it ourselves using verb or uh, to tell the developers on how to exploit this or how to reproduce this vulnerability, we can use this as well. So that's the first issue, uh, SQL injections. Uh,